Okay. No, no, no. What? Don't do that. Because then it's, you know, it forces you to understand, like, treat people the right way. Don't be, don't be a jerk. And yeah. I'm like, watch these, like, these Chipotle videos where people pull out the phone and they're like, more chicken, more chicken, more rice, more this. And it's well, like, what are you What they doing? don't understand is when they get trained, so, you're taught but that's to only point. put in certain person, that's my portions point. of the meat. You can't be giving everybody stacked burritos. Treat people Because right. you got to pay for the stuff. Um, uh, 415, it's the mobile text line. No, 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 from SF. Z Giants talk. Z Trust me. The Giants are a boring team. Trust me. Got to talk about them. But you've proven the audience that the Giants are boring. So we're pivoting. We're pivoting to something that's juicier. Juicier. By the way, 95 7 the game is jacked up this week. Willard and Dibs from 6 to 10. Morning Russell from 10 to 2. Stiney Good from 2 to 6. Presented by Jack's Restaurant and Bar. Phil and Joe, we're going to get to you in just a second because Shab Sharania this morning as we're walking into the studio. What was by 8 30? Shabs writes, as NBA franchises progress into the full week of Las Vegas Summer League at Thomas Mack and Cox Pavilion, team officials are spending time watching their respective squads, scouting players, and monitoring the league's landscape as rosters round out. The major free agents have been signed, and the remaining tier of available players are resolving their next steps, but larger off-season issues are still outstanding. For the past several weeks, all eyes have been on the Utah Jazz and Lowry marketed. The Jazz have operated in concurrent lanes with marketing's future. Open to listening to trade offers from serious suitors while maintaining interest in keeping him as a franchise centerpiece. And we all know he's eligible for an extension August 6th. The Jazz are in a rebuild, so rival teams have wondered about marketing its fit moving forward. Now, Utah officials want to keep the 2023 All-Star and most improved player unless a two truly wows it with an offer. And that's where the Golden State Warriors come into play, Shasky. The Golden State Warriors have been the most engaged team for marketing in recent weeks. At least sources tell the Athletic they have discussed a proposal around Moses Moody, multiple first-round picks, multiple pick swaps, and multiple second-round picks. The Jazz, however, have asked for the bulk of young talent and capital the Warriors possess, including Moody, Jonathan Kamiga, who has seen courtside the last two nights of Summer League for the Golden State Warriors, and Brandon Pajewski, who messed around and nearly dropped a triple-double yesterday in Summer League, along with picks, which has been a non-starter thus far for Golden State League sources says. So, with that said, Danny Age of the Utah Jazz, who we all identified a month ago, Jasky, as a guy who would not be easy to deal with. Apparently wants Moody, Kaminga, Pajewski, along with all these picks. So, I, I, I'm making this very clear. So, this is all. I want to make You're saying Golden State would land marketing. Utah is demanding, asking, however you want to put it. Courtney Shams. Moody, Kaminga, yep. and Pods. Yep. Multiple firsts. Yep. Multiple pick swaps. Yep. I mean, I was born, you know, a while ago, but not yesterday. What, what, like. Diddy Age doesn't think that. This is an overpay of all overpays. <laughs> I agree. I mean, Herschel Walker on line two. I mean, geez, Louise, what are we doing? Like, he's a really, he's a good player. Like, right. I, I want to make that very clear. Markkinen's a very good player. Pods and Kaminga and Moody. Like, and Moody's Moody. not getting you Markkinen. We all acknowledge that. Right? All right. Nope. Like, and, and Moody might develop into something. Unlikely, but this is Moses he might Moody. develop into something that's, that's, that's wanted. Are we sure it's Kaminga and Pods combined with Moody? That's what Shobbs is reporting. So is that a non-starter for you? Absolutely. Yeah. And it doesn't surprise me because this is Danny Age we're dealing with here. Danny Age is not settling for a couple picks and like Chris Paul or Andrew Wiggins when Chris Paul was around. I always thought Danny Age will try to gut your roster and take your picks. And he's going to try to sell, 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 high, high, high for Larry Marketing. And I don't even know if Lowry's that good. Where, where, like, is he that good okay. enough to change? Like, this is a package to me where it's like, am I getting Giannis? Am I getting a bead? Well, am I getting the big boy? Is Lowry that much of a big boy to trade Kaminga, Pods, and Moses Moody? Or as we are, as Warrior fans, are we overrating Brandon Pajewski or Kaminga or Kaminga? I do find it odd the the infatuation with Pods. I think he's a good player. Um, and look, at one point in time, if you would have uh, said, Joe, what exactly do you think Steph Curry, I mean, Steph, Steph, right? right? But there was a point in time where we all didn't know what Steph would develop into. And don't, do, someone's driving around like, oh, I knew he'd be, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You're lying. Trust me. You're Trust lying. me. Yeah. Nobody like, knew that. 
Like, no one did. We all loved Monte. It was pretty unanimous, all right? Now, I think it was a little more split on the clay for Kevin Love deal. Like, that felt a little more even. Nobody thought Steph would develop. He's right. the outlier of outliers. <laughs> that being said, like, what is, like, that's why I asked you last week, like, what is Pajemski's ceiling? Like, I don't what, know. What, is, what position is he? I, well, he's a combo guard. Okay. And he's a baller. Okay. He's going to have the ball in his hands. Okay. He can play, and it looks like he's trying to work off playing off the ball. A scrappy hustler guy? Scra scrappy hustler guy, but what else is he? I don't know what else he so is. So, like, Steph He's Curry. working on getting stronger, right? You see the dunk yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He's working on his jump shot. He's working on taking care of the basketball. Ideally, on this team, I see him running the second unit, but we had him on Friday. And we, I asked him, I said, what's more important to a player? Is it finishing or starting? He's like, I want to finish games. Yeah, okay. But is so, he, if you're is in that final five lineup, I don't think so. Okay, is he an elite passer? I think he's a very good passer. Okay, a good. Good. Can he be elite? Maybe. Okay. It's only been one year. Is he an elite? Any level score. How about this? I'll say this. Because Steph, comes I can hang like, he's such an outlier. Right. He was the, one of the greatest shoot. Even early on, you go, wow, this guy could shoot. Right. We didn't know he'd develop his entire no, all-around game. But he had that one that. singular defining skill set. I, I think Pods is a really good passer. He's a really good rebounder for a size. His IQ, I think he has a really good IQ. He's also 20. He, he, he's 20 years. He's very young. He's very young. So I don't know what his ceiling is. Like, if you ask me right now, who's got a better ceiling or a bigger ceiling, Kaminga or Pods? I would probably say Kaminga. Why? But Pods, Why do you say that? Because 6'8", wing defender, when now everybody wants a wing defender, has a potential to be a really good two-way player, can get you to the free throw line, yeah. can make things happen, can wreck a game, right? It's a game changer. Pods, is elite he a game changer? Athlete. I don't know. Elite athlete. You got to have athletes. Is Pods an elite athlete? Not yet. KDB, I don't know. But to me, this trade is way too much. When you add in Pods, Kaminga, and Moody, and the picks, yeah, that's a little much. For Lowry marketing? Like, if they make this move right now, Shasky, how much better are the Warriors? Well, my next question would be, where is where are you going to get any, like, good value of, of players making very little to help contribute? We, we find year <laughs> after year, you got to have some depth. Right. No one's saying you got to be 10 deep. Right. But you can't be three deep. No, you can't be three deep. I mean, you, you can't just roll in like, okay, we're going to have basically, you're going to have the bag man, a.k.a. Wiggins, right? And I mean brown bag over the face man because oh, I don't man. know what, whether he's going to actually show up or not. And then you got Damn. marketing. What? What? <laughs> you trust him? I, I'm kind of leaning towards trusting him again. I feel like Wiggins oh, may have a, I'm a sucker for it. I, yeah. I think Wiggins going to be all right. I mean, is Wiggins wearing the brown bag or are the fans watching him? Brown <laughs> That's bag a great question. question. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing? Uh, uh, I did Why see a funny we, like, text. I love how we get removed right. and we talk ourselves into like, Wiggins could come back around. Hey, man. No, he's not. We just did an hour and a half. We were lucky on, to get two months out of him. We just did an hour and a half on Giants baseball. We've talked ourselves into them maybe competing. Uh, 510, Xfinity Mobile text line. Tell age is dull if you not Mike Dicka. <laughs> Obviously, Mike Dicka trading everything for Ricky Williams. That's a good let's call. Get to, let's get to the lines. Man. I want to get to the lines, man. That's what they do on Stiney Go. I know that. They take a lot of calls. So let's take some calls. Phil in San Francisco. Hey, Phil. Phil. What's happening, man? Good afternoon. Hey, how's it going? What's up, Phil? Hey, how's it, how's it going, you guys? Yeah, um, yeah. Just wanted to add my two cents worth on this possible trade. That is very demanding. If that if that is po what they reportedly want in exchange for marketing, I mean that's that's way too much. That's what I'm saying. And as far as giving up future draft picks, the Warriors have sort of prided themselves in recent years of drafting well. You know, drafting a lot of good players that turned out great, starting with Stephen Curry. So I wouldn't, you know, I'd be kind of foolish to do that. And to give up Pajemski in addition to Kaminga and um, Moody, I mean, that would, that, would, that would be a mistake as well, I think. What, what, is, what do you think, That's Phil, about, sense. Phil, real quick, what do you think about Pajemski? Shasky just asked me a like ceiling, a and lot. I really don't know. He's, a, he's, he's only 20 he years old. He's a good player. Of, you know, X-Factor kind of player, you know, that... He can put up, he can put up numbers for you. It's just not going to be, you know, uh, you know, Tracy McGrady like numbers, you know, right. something like that. You know, he's he's his own sort of player. He's a team player. He's a right. smart player. He's an intelligent player. He feels like a and winning player, hard. right? He feels like a Dante DiVincenzo type of a player. I'm not mad at I that. I would love to have him on my team. I just don't know what the like. I don't know where right. he slots as a starter. Did you get where I'm going? I get where you're going, Shasky. <laughs> Phil, <laughs> good call, Phil. Let's go to Joe at Burbank. Joe, what's happening, man? You're on Steiny hey, Guru guys. slash the roast. What's up, Joe? What's up, dog? Yeah. Thanks. 
taking my call, guys. Great show as always. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, you know, I'm with the fans. That's way too much for marketing. Um, if you're going to overpay and you're going to give that much up, geez, you could have went. I, first of all, I don't think marketing is that good. But if you're going to give that much up, you should have went up. You should have tried to get in on the Mikhail Bridges deal. Yeah. Uh, because I, I don't really think marketing his stats are inflated. He's on a bat a team that you know that. So sure, his, his stats are going to look good. He was on Utah, but I, you know I'm just not really big on that. And the other reason that. Utah want doesn't I don't I didn't think they wanted um Kaminga because I, I didn't think they wanted Kaminga's salary. And I think if that's true we don't know what to believe. But if you're looking at that he they want Moody and they want pods, that's because they don't want salary. And you know, he's Good insane. Point. He asked them I just can I if I want I wanted to ask you guys one thing. When you're thinking of all these trades and maybe I'm missing something, but the thing is you know, I'm looking at the roster right now, and what I don't understand is um, j- just looking at what we have, I think we have a really good team, and I think that it can be better than a lot of people think because, mm-hmm. first of all, um, with, between Steph, Wiggins, and Kaminga, I think you should have enough offense there I- uh, with Steph, Wiggins. And the other thing is, and then you add Draymond and TJD, that's a good starting lineup. And think of the, about that bench that you would have. You got Pods and Moody and Anderson, Melton, Buddy Heel coming off the bench. So, not to mention if you end up, you know, so I don't know. I just don't do it. Don't give up all those draft picks. There's aprons now, and you can need draft picks to I, keep your salary down. You. That, that might be the call of the week, Joe. It already, I, it, you made a lot of sense. I, I just started doing the math in my head. We were talking about aggregates, right? You were talking about aggregates last week. We brought up Kaminga Wiggins. And then you throw in Steph Curry. Telling me you can't get 60 points between the three of them? No, you should. Right? You should, right? You should. Consistently. Yeah. You you would hope so. Get, Steph gets his 26, 25. We could say gets his 15, 17. Because I don't believe he's going to come in and average 13 if they bring him back. Hell, they may still be trying to trade him. We have no idea. I think Kaminga is going to average 22 a game. There you go. Kaminga average 20, 20 to 22 a game. I, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I think there's another week and, there. And you know what? Hold me accountable to that. Well, no, I, I, I'm dying on the Kaminga Hill. No, well, well, I'm glad you are. I'm glad you're on my hill. Well, it's Bonte me hill. and you. It's, it's like glory, we, you know? We, no, but you Forge. know what, though? I think, honestly, you and I have been the biggest Kaminga fans at the station in this market. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not wavering off the guy. I know what I saw last year when he went to the media and said, I need to get out of here. And then he went out there and he backed up. Where's he backed up? What he said to Shab Sharadi, whatever he told his agent, and he went into that meeting with Steve Kerr, got the haircut. And he balled out those 37 games. He balled the hell out and averaged nearly 20 games. So I could see 22. So that's 60 to 65 points a game. Right there with just those three players. TJD, can he get you 8 to 10? Can Draymond get you 8 to 10? Where's Kyle Anderson? Where's Buddy? Where's D'Anthony Bell? Buddy. I keep forgetting about Buddy. Pods. So but here's the thing that I... I so I'm, I'm kind of... Real quick, sorry, yeah, sorry to yeah, cut you off. Yeah. Just, I'm kind of with Joe and Burbank. If you don't make this trade... Like, if you make the trade for marketing... I don't know how much better it makes you. I think with this current roster right now, you're as good as you would be with Lowry marketed by giving up all those assets. Well, and you're gutting what what would be the rest of your bench for next year, and it's really late in the process. Who are you signing right. to replace some of these spots? Right. There's not a lot out there. N- not Love a lot it. out there. There's favor. nothing out there. Love it. Do me, who's the remaining free agent? So I want you to look that up. <laughs> who's like, out there here's waiting? The thing, here's the thing. If Utah wants Kaminga and Pods, right? Doesn't that kind of tell you those two are coveted? If Danny Ainge wants those two, why would I give up those two making what they're making at the age of where they're at yeah. when I know that he's going to pay Kaminga? Like, if they're acquiring Kaminga, they're probably paying him. That's yeah. what the GM on the receiving yeah. end is thinking. They're not going to, like, let him go through it. I, I just... I, this to me feels like an egregious overpay. It does. It really does. I, I'm with you there. 888-957-9570. The latest with Sham Sharani is saying that he's hearing that the Jazz are still interested in possibly trading market and the Warriors have been the most engaged team for Lowry market. I know the Warriors really like Lowry. They really do. But the Jazz have asked for Pods, Moody, and Kaminga, along with Picks, which has been a non-starter thus far for the Golden State Warriors. 
So I got some lists here, guys. We got Tyus Jones still available. He's kind of like the top guy Back right up now. Point guard. He yeah. was good. He kicked. Uh, he had a great year. Tyus with, not bad. With, with, with Jaga. Tyus is not uh, bad. Yeah. Gary not Trent bad. Jr. That's another one. People are monitoring him. He's a shooter. Yep. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, who was a net and then was oh, a Laker for a little bit last I don't year. Like Dinwiddie. 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 I don't like Dinwiddie on this roster. The motion offense, no, 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 well, no, no. He's a me, me, me. Yeah, I saw, I'm, I saw. I'm good off him. Isaac Frank Okoro's it. a restricted free agent from, from Cleveland. He, he was he in the draft class with Wiseman. He could defend his ass off, that's yeah. for sure. Gordon Hayward, not do anything for you? I know you talked about Gordon Hayward as I, a veteran. I actually like Gordon Hayward. As a player off the bench in the nine, eight, nine man role, you're starting him occasionally when there's like all everyone's not, sitting out. I, I could be talked into that. I'm not mad at that. You could it's do a the lot worst. worse than I him. Actually, I actually thought OKC underutilized him. I agree with you. I, I kind of like He's Memphis. a vet. Yeah, He's I, nice. I, no doubt. Not as a starter making 50 million. He's just a vet. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else got. We got Seth Curry is available. Get another Curry brother in there. I actually would be into that. Yeah. Uh, Robert Covington. Maybe a few years ago. Come see Bronny and LeBron versus Fuck. Seth and Steph. Fuck. That's actually kind of it. That would, that would be an interesting see, dynamic. Be the the Browns versus the Curry. I should be a part right. of the NBA marketing team. Spadoni just point. pointed out to we me all, uh, Lonnie we Walker know. is available. We, we oh, all shut know. up. But we all bring know. Little, bring little Kane's I, action here. We, we all town. know the Warriors when it comes back to Seth Curry. And I ain't mad at Seph Curry. I like Seth Curry a lot. That's my guy. But we all know the Warriors. The last thing they need is another small card. Come on. Can never have enough of them. Uh, Cameron Payne still available? I'm imagining a pods Can't at the five lineup. Can't with pay. with uh, We'd have pods at the five. We'll bring back Brad Wanamaker. He'll play the four. Ooh. And then we, we just brought back Nico Mannion, so he'll play the three. You run a full Seth court Curry press? at the two and Steph at the one. And you run a full court press? All day. All day. Five out. Five out. Patrick but, Beverly still out there, oh, guys. Pat oh, Bev. By the way, Next year could be ours. Pat Bev. The Pat Bev podcast. If you looked this on Twitter, I saw. Imagine this. that podcast the, crossover. No, all the all uh -huh. all the shenanigans that are going on on Twitter uh -huh. over the weekend. The Pat Bev pod. If you guys looked this up in the back, he reported he's either going to sign. <laughs> I think a veteran exception. Go look at Pat Bev pod. Swear to God, or a massive deal with some team in Europe. How long? A mega it, deal. How long would it last, Draymond and Pat Bev at practice? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my. Gosh, Speaking bad. of podcasts, I did see the Kevin Garnett showing Paul Pierce the Edwin Diaz walk-in. It was pretty sick. It huh? was one of the funniest things I've ever seen I'm in not my life. Lie. The Paul Pierce. Can we pull that sound Paul, for later in the, the show? The Paul Pierce Kevin Garnett podcast is it's kind of interesting. The highlights are good. They're, they are. They're not bad. They're not bad. But when you look this up, this tweet with Pat Bab is pretty funny. Yeah, no, KG's out of his mind. Yeah, KG is out of his mind. JK's trading videos look good. Well, I saw the trading video. They sit out there for Clay Thompson, and they're roasting him. What, uh, what, what, what <laughs> happened with Clay? I, I, I just don't know. I don't. Let's go to Richard Fremont real quick. Richard Fremont, what's happening? Hey, what's up, fellas? What's up, I Rich? Like switch up, man. You guys are looking good. Hey, man, I, I can get used to this. I can get used it's to sleeping until seven o'clock. Flow. I'm no, not gonna I, lie. No, no, I love the flow. Don't listen to Shasky. I'm in my lane, baby. I don't have to drive 100 miles an hour down 280 no more. <laughs> Hey, I'll tell you something else. I had a good time with you brothers at, at the summit, man. That was oh, great. You. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you something. I, I'm with the rest of the fan base, man. We, we don't need to move any pieces right now. We we got a, a nice selection of, of core people. Yeah, we lost Clay. We understand that. But the pickups they got, I think, are really good. Um, you know, uh, the producer was running off some names. Here's a name he probably didn't think of. And I, last I looked, I thought he was still available. Mm -hmm. Cam Johnson. I believe he's still available. Under contract. He's under contract with the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah. But he did say, he did oh, he say. Under contract. Okay, yeah, heard, but Rich, hey, he did say. There was, there, was, there, was talk, there, there was talk that they weren't going to renew him. That they were going to ship him off. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, he's, he's, he may get moved, but he's got the money contract. Cam Johnson's an interesting name, though. 3D guy, young player. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that, Rich. But you're yeah, out on market. You're out on trading all these young assets for marketing. No, I just don't think marketing is worth all that, man. Come on. We look up two years. We make that deal. Two years from now, we're going to be kicking ourselves in the behind because we look and go, what were we thinking? Okay? And these guys go off and become stars someplace else. We've seen this movie before. No, absolutely not. I'm not doing that, guys. I'm with you. All right, Rich. I'm, I think we all agree here. 888-957-9570. But see, you know what? We, we've just gotten three calls here the last 10 minutes about a hey, Joe Burbank, Phil, and Rich. They said they won't do the deal. But you look online, and people were saying, send the picks. Send the picks. So there's somebody out there who, 
Anybody out there who does want to do a I deal like this? I want to hear this, from that person. 888-957-9570. The Jazz, they want the bulk of the Warriors' young core. They want Moody. They want Kaminga. They want Pajinski. And I watched the Summer League last night and the last two nights with the Warriors and Pons was balling out and TJD was doing this thing. And this Plowden kid, who we saw at the Cali Classics, Spadoni, Plowden's been balling in Vegas. He's a, Who the hell is he? He's going to be on some NBA roster this season. He's plowing through the competition. <laughs> oh, that's a three. That's a, that's a three. I laid that on the tee for you. Look at that. I, that's good stuff I, you know, right there. Watching those Luke Connect uh, highlights, he's not looking. Dalton Connect? Yeah, locally. I'm Dalton sorry. Connect? Uh, he, he's not looking not that on. good. The Lakers are terrible. What, you don't think he's looking that good? He had 25 the other day. Yeah, he actually, I think yeah, he's he looked, looked great. All right. He looked all right. The rest of the team he's around him is right. horrible. Yeah, you can't, th- remember Summer League, know, you're playing with I, a lot of guys who are selfish. I, know, like, I thought he was like, going to be bigger. I don't Summer know why. League, no, he looks pretty big on the court. Like he, I didn't know he can actually drive to the rack as much as he was trying to do because I think he's trying to well, work yeah, on I like his stuff. mid. He got yeah. the mid. But I'm just saying, I, I don't know. I don't Summer know. League, I Summer thought he would dominate. Listen, Summer League has me thinking Kevin Knox has a future with the Warriors. I've always been a Kevin Knox fan. Always, even Mark Jones on the broadcast of Torresburg. Mark Jones is like, you know, I still think there's something there with Kevin Knox. And in my head, I'm thinking, no, he might be right. <laughs> there's also a difference. That's between getting, though. You get dimes from like guys you never heard of compared to Anthony Davis and LeBron James. Right. He's gonna have a lot more open looks than he's he been will. getting. He that's will. true. No, he will. You know, that's he will. true. He will. I just he was so good last year. Yeah, and and it's like I I thought he'd come in and kind of just dominate. Dalton. Yeah. Pajemski was the league, same bro. thing last year. Pajemski, when we watched it, I watched him in Sacramento. He looked horrible. He, looked, he was horrible in yeah. Summer League. Horrible. And next thing you know, he's in a rotation a month into the season. So, did you find a Pat Bev tweet, by the way? Did you? Uh, well, there's a tweet. I was trying to find right. sound, but I don't think there is sound. There's no sound okay. bite. No, okay. it was a tweet. It was just yeah, yeah, a tweet. Yeah. Here, uh, let me pull it up. It was right a, you got to listen to this one, Shasky. Right meow. We got Dalton Johnson coming up. Speaking to Dalton, he's coming up at 1230. If you see Sports Bay Area. Meow. Right meow. Right meow, 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 meow. All right, meow, meow, meow. 888-957-9570. You're doing a deal for marketing? If you are, why? Do you believe in JK and Pods and Moody in their futures with the Golden State Warriors? Or do you know what? You just say the hell with it. Let's go get Lowry marketing. And what difference is marketing making if you do trade this young core? That's a lot for Lowry marketing. That's a lot. When was the last time anybody anybody traded this many in the Bay Area, traded this many young players for a guy who's kind of more in his prime. Like, I know the Evan Longoria deal yeah. is one that comes to mind. The McCutcheon deal, it comes to mind. But Brian Reynolds and Christian Royal yeah. weren't in the actual bigs at right. the time. They were in the minor leagues, and, and it was one player, essentially. I, like, this is a pretty big deal. Yeah, it's a huge deal. Spado, Spado, okay, so this was from the Pat Bev pod uh, via the Barstool this Podcast nice. Network. I think they re-upped, by the way. Yeah. Uh, developing at Pat Bev 21 is currently weighing his options between an NBA vet minimum contract to this. and a all caps historic <laughs> contract in Europe money bag emoji. That was that yesterday bad. at 11. What does a historic bag look like? <laughs> is that in euros? Is that in pounds? Where's he going? Uh, I don't know. Rupees? Man. He might uh, Saudi Arabian league. Don't, don't. 